Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Olelenko could find his performance and conduct under tight scrutiny by Parliament. A censure motion filed against him by Kisumu Central MP Ken Obura could find its way to the floor of the House on Thursday. The motion has now been certified to have met the preliminary requirements, meaning it is now up to the House Business Committee to list it on the order paper for debate. Sources intimated to Citizen TV that the House Business Committee has met this evening and is likely to schedule the motion to appear on the order paper on Thursday afternoon. As opposed to an impeachment motion, a censure motion does not require time between its notice and debate and will therefore be debated and concluded the very day it is brought to the floor of the House. The censure motion does not propose the removal of the Cabinet Secretary, but rather for the House to express its dissatisfaction with the conduct of the Cabinet Secretary for his alleged inability and incompetence to secure peace and security in the country. In his motion, legislator Ken Obura blames Olelenku for a series of lapses that led to a number of terror attacks, which he claims have been characterized by this small failure of the CS to contain. Order, Senator Orengo. Sergeant Atams. Senator Orengo is a stranger. This motion could ride on the general contempt which members from across the political divide have treated Lenku's performance. Time has come for those who are senior in the senior security management of this country to either relieve themselves of, of, of their duties by resigning or, Mr. Speaker, for, by being fired by the president, Mr. Speaker. In the meantime, a section of leaders in Migori County have asked members of parliament not to intimidate career civil servants by pushing for their impeachment in parliament. Attacking public officers like civil servants is not to help us. All Kenyans are aware that Madam, Madam Waiguru is a career civil servant. Citing the recent attempt to impeach Cabinet Secretary Anwai Guru, Anyanga says the motion was unjustified as the Cabinet Secretary had performed well, especially in the implementation of ways of fund. If the censor motion sails through, it will be up to the President to decide either to fire or retain Olelenku. It will also be the discretion of Olelenku to either resign or cling to his seat, but the House would have made its point. Ken Dagor, Obadiah for the big question.